January 30th, 2020. It is literally one of the last one or two days here to send out a tax season price increase letter. I mean, you could send it out in February, but really to be prepared and take full advantage of it, you wanna to try to send it in January. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about it today and show you kind of what I would typically say. Now, one of the real controversial things that we do that a lot of people get a little bit freaked out about is, you know, you oh, I got so much stuff going on, tax season, oh, I don't have any time, ooh, 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 and I get it, right? And if you don't have any time, like if you literally, your time is overwhelmed, then what do you, what do you gotta do? How do you get your way out of this box? You think, well, I'd like to grow, but I can't take on more clients because I don't have any more time. Great, what do you? Increase price. Okay, so, you know, a really good way that I think about this. Now, normally when I start the full price increase process, I mean, this starts last year, right? We are at the last couple of seconds here to be, to be able to make a big change this year. But if you've got a ton of clients and you're realizing like, oh my gosh, people are coming in, people are just dropping off their stuff. Like, what do I charge them? How do I do it? I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I would do if I were in your shoes at this state. It's January 30th, 2020, okay? So right now I'd be looking at, okay, how many business returns do I have coming in this year? How many individual uh, schedule C's and how many standalone 1040s, okay? Anybody that comes in that has a business return or a schedule C, I'm gonna actually set up an appointment and I'm gonna do a consultation before I even go through and do any work for them whatsoever, okay? So I'm gonna do a consultation. I'm gonna figure out exactly how much I could save them in taxes, okay? And I'm gonna pull up a couple things and show you guys here in a second. So I'm gonna do that with anybody that's a business return or a Schedule C. And I'm gonna figure out to, how to do a tax plan for 2020 and sign them up for tax prep for the 2019 tax year, okay? So we're gonna do that first for anybody, because you're not just gonna be just doing the tax prep. If there's a tax planning opportunity, I wanna do the tax plan as well. Now, if somebody's a standalone 1040, new minimum. Okay, new minimum. It's gonna freak out. You ready? You ready? Here, hold my hand. Hold my hand. You got my hand? Here's my hand right there. All right, hold it. Hold, okay, we're, we got a little hand hold. Wow, look at that, right? This is a really good way for hands to look. It's really close to the camera and at a really awkward angle. You can see how nice that hand is, right? Um, you need to double the fees. If they're less than 400 on an individual return, we need to get those fees up to a 750, okay? Or you can at least double it. Let's say somebody's paying 175. Oh my gosh, somebody's paying 175. Double it. Double it. I want to see the minimums on the 1040s, the standalone 1040s, meaning no business attached. I want to see that at 750. And really, we don't even want that business. That's why I don't even care if it even goes away because I don't want that standalone 1040 business. Okay, so standalone 1040s, double the fee or put it at 750 minimum. Business returns and schedule C's, do a consultation. And when you do that consultation, you're going to go through and figure out how much you can save them. Okay, how much can you save them in the year of 2020 and every year going forward? Occasionally, you can do stuff in previous years, but most of the time you can't. Now, we do a tax season price increase letter because this might scare some people, right? And so we send out this letter to clients, okay? And I give it to all my clients. This is a letter right here. You can see. Here's the letter right here. Okay, it's a tax season price increase letter, okay? And we walk through, hey, we've had a big year. Lots of things have changed. We talk about some case studies. Right, of people we've helped actually save money on taxes, not just do the preparation. We put that in here. And then we go through and we say, based on our review, we've decided to increase our investment to individual tax returns to a minimum of blank. You put that number in, all business returns to blank, all schedule C's to blank. And you also say that if you do run over on the engagement, so let's say you price somebody at a business return at 2,000, right? 1,500, 2,000, somewhere in that range. If you're making a big change this year, you might only want to do 1,500. We try to do 2,000. Um, you say, if we run over, right, we charge 1500 but we ran over, we're going to bill hourly if we go over. So you kind of protect yourself. A lot of people get scared moving to fixed fees. Well, you tell them it's fixed fee unless we go over, in which case it's hourly. And then the other thing we will say to people too is that, hey, it's the first year we're making this change. We're happy to do a 10% discount in the first year. So, you know, you take the fee. Let's say they paid 650 last year. Now it's 1500 but You keep 10% off, so that's 1350 And they come in unless it goes over, in which case it's even more. And then you go through. You show some basic information about yourself. You send this out. So this goes out. Most people don't even necessarily read this, but it's just a notification and an update. And, you know, when you do this, you let everybody know, hey, things have changed this year, right? Prices have gone up. Then you go through on the business returns. Do the tax plans. I mean, do the math, right? If you get one tax plan for 5,500, and, you know, I, I've shown this before, so I'll show this to you guys here for a second. You go through, you tell them about case studies. Other people you've helped with tax planning. You can see that guy. Anybody, hey, you recognize that guy? Does that look like one of my clients, or does that look like somebody just a little more familiar than that? And then um, if you go through, you can see here. Here's an example. You can see I say, never delete this slide. Always show this to client. What's the estimated amount they overpaid last year? What's the estimated amount you could save them this year? An estimated amount they can save in 2021 based on their projections if, if they decide not to work with you how much they would overpay. And so you show them that and you ask them, 
for the tax plan. Now, this is a whole 150 slide deck. That's just one key slide. And so you go through this every single client, okay? You're gonna lose some people. You're gonna lose some people. Here's one of my clients last year. You can see this is great, I love this. Lost 30%. She doubled her fees on tax prep because I finally got it, thanks to Andrew. We lost about 30% in number of clients, increased our revenue by 40%. Thanks for giving me, this is key. Thanks for giving me the courage to finally see my value. And that's what it is. You know, tax season, like, you can either go into this thing hating yourself, right? Hating yourself and just kind of playing the loser's game and thinking you have to take on all these clients for the same price and run the same BS game you've been running, or we could change the game. So if you wanna send out the tax price increase letter, if you wanna increase the fees, if you wanna do tax planning and go through work with fewer people, higher fee per client, less hours this year, no craziness, maybe still a little craziness, but at least there's craziness with more sales and more net profit. If you wanna do that, I put an application below this video. You can go ahead and fill it out. We'll go through and show you this whole process, 360 slides, how we do this, what we would do if we were to decide to work together. You'll get that tax season price increase letter, boom, you can rip it out. If we start here in the next couple of days, you can still send it out before, you know, February, February 15th. So I hope this was helpful. Gave a couple of nuggets. Um, I love tax season. I mean, honestly, you know, people always say, Andrew, I'm not sure I wanna start with you during tax season. That's a loser's mentality. I mean, literally the biggest case studies we ever have had are people that joined with us right before or even during tax season, right? So right before, during tax season, because there's such an overwhelming demand. And what we show you how to do is every single person that comes in with that demand, how to maximize that experience on the first sale, the second sale, the third sale, how to price package yourself, show your value to the client, get the maximum fee possible, increase margin. And so there's just so many more opportunities. So I would love to work with you. Applications below, and I will see you on the other side.